Hey guys, my name is Justin. Welcome back to the channel. So now it's just a very quick review on the Warrior 3 from Olight. This is a brand new torch to hit the South African shores. It's been in America for about a month now and it's quickly overtaken the M2 upright. I mean, this is Olight's best selling torch in South Africa. And I can tell you now this torch has just kicked it out the water. My favorite torch was the M2R Pro. Uh, it's, it's just an amazing torch, 1,800 lumens with a 300 meter throw. So when we talk changes, you know, what exactly are we talking about? We'll be talking about 2,300 lumens. It still gives you a 300 meter throw, but with 2,300 lumens, it's a lot brighter than the 1,800 lumens that you're getting from the M2R Pro. When it comes to the tail cap, you'll remember that on a torch like the Odin, you get a little ridge over here, you can take your Connector, push it down, and that tail cap is secured. Now on the M2R Pro, it was a smooth round cap, so you couldn't use a tail cap like that. It just wouldn't fit. Um, the tail cap that you had would just sit with the magnets over here, and there was a chance that you could knock it off when or something like that. With the Warrior 3, they've gone and taken the same cap or similar cap that they've been using on the Odins, and now you have a locking tail cap. So put the tail cap on, lock it in place. You can put it, it's not going anywhere. Now this is the wrong tail cap for it. I'm just, obviously it's, I'm using what I have over here at the house. Um, you do get the proper tail cap where it can activate the torch. In terms of interface upgrades, they've added on a little ring over here, which shows you your battery level as well as your brightness level. On two brightness, Hold it in some more, it's on three brightness. Double tap, we get the full 2,300 lumens. It brightens up the entire lounge over here. Um, it's, it's like daylight in my hand, honestly. Now I've been using this for the last few days and we've taken it with us on the neighborhood patrol meetings. We've taken it outdoors with us. I've kept this as an everyday carry with me in the hopes that I would need a flashlight, something at work, um, you know, especially if I'm looking inside a tank or a vessel. Uh, like I normally would do, then I, I normally keep the M2R Pro and I just use that and get the job over and done with. And I haven't had those experiences whilst having the Warrior 3 just yet, so I haven't had the chance to give it the real hard industrial test like I would normally do. If you're just starting out in flashlights and you're looking at the two saying, well, do I go for the M2R Pro or do I go for the Warrior 3? Then I would say go for the Warrior 3. It's a brilliant torch. That extra couple of lumens really makes a big difference. So just to give you an idea of the different displays, you'll see with the M2R Pro, you always have the color inside the button, whereas on the Warrior 3, you've now got it on the button itself, where it shows you different stages of the battery. Over here, the orange means it's going low. It, it does need a bit of a charge. One of the other big differences is the color of the light. The M2R Pro, I believe, is a warm light, and the Warrior 3 would be a cool light. Big difference. This torch has definitely made its way onto the top of my recommendation list, along with the Olight Swivel. Um, I reckon if you, if you were camping or if you were starting out, a Warrior 3 for everyday carry in your car, the Olight Swivel for if you're around campsites or even just around the house, you know, if it's load shedding, bang the swivel up, you can, it's magnetic as well, so you can put it on a door frame or you can put it on, some, on a nail or something like that. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. As always, please check out the description for my affiliate link and I will see you on the next one. Cheers.